What's going on, y'all? It's your boy AC back here with another video, and it's been a while. Uh, this weekend, I think I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. Uh, it's a lot of things that's going on in boxing, but it's a lot of things that's going on, uh, in quote unquote, uh, black Twitter. Um, I wanted to stay uh, silent when it comes to social social issues, but it seems like I can no longer be silent. You know what I mean? Uh, it's some things that I really, really, really have to, really have to say. Uh, get some things going on as far as what I see, as far as what's going on. Uh, some hypocrisy. I might do. I, I might do another channel. I just might do another channel. Um, but. I'm going to uh, definitely start interjecting my thoughts on the state of the black community, what's going on as far as maybe racism, and different things like that. It's something that I did not want, did not want to do. I, you know, I wanted to keep everything straight boxing, straight sports, but nah, I, I'm not going to be able to do it. So uh, I'm going to definitely um, start talking about more things and apologies for me uh not even um for not being even being on youtube like that because like i said man i'm trying to go get these bags i need i need this bread so i had to step back um i'm still watching everybody's channel ldbc definitely um even my part even a couple of my partners from the uh from the almost defunct uh ytbc um really but um uh, oh yeah big shout big shout out to uh 78 sports tv with the ldbc website uh i think that was an ingenious idea that was an ingenious idea that that is a uh, that has the potential to be a great hub for boxing fans and boxing purists um I like to see I like to see how that thing develops in due time. Uh, so big shout outs to everybody that has contributed contributed to that website. Big shout out to uh, Seventy Eight Sports TV, and I hope you get mad bread off that website. Okay. Now, the NFL draft is almost tonight. It is right now in another what twenty something minutes, and the Browns pick first. I can care less about Cleveland. I can care less about every other team. I am here for that town business, the Oakland Raiders. You know. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. We finished 12-4 and four last season. Defense was horrible. Um, outside of Khalil Mack, we, a we absolutely had nothing going on. Um, you know, we had uh, Sean Smith come in. Uh you know, reside David Amerson, uh, Reggie Nelson, you know, but for some reason, outside of Khalil Mack, we could not generate any pressure on the quarterback, which left our secondary wide open, which means that, in all fairness, our secondary got tore up. And, and I, I hate to say it, no matter how dominant we seem like we were, uh, no lead was safe even when we were in the lead because they could come back. Or, or we would wake up when we would act, we would actually wake up when we were down 10 to 17 points. You know, that needs to be addressed. Um, it's put up a shut up for Ken Norton Jr. Uh, this will be his third year as defensive coordinator. You got Khalil Mack, you got Bruce Irvin, you got uh, you got Sean Smith, you got David, you got Am Amerson. Uh, man, we got that we got that young kid out of West Virginia that's coming in. Um, that's coming into his second year. Um, uh, oh, oh, I forgot his name. I really did, but uh, he's gonna he's gonna be that he's gonna be that guy, and um. In 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 the next couple years, I believe. Um, but we need help on defense. Um, I actually and, and and to be honest with you, be honest with me, honest with you. I'm sorry. Um, 
I I, I narrowed it down to three picks uh, that I want. We, the Raiders pick number 24. Uh, if I know Reggie McKenzie, he doesn't want any quote-unquote problem players. One of the players I wanted was Caleb Brantley out of Florida. I wanted him, but I doubt, I seriously doubt that... Uh, that Reggie McKenzie is going to pick that guy, even though we need help on the front seven. And I think he would be perfect. He's a he is a pass rushing defensive tackle. We we would need somebody like him. Right? Uh, Zach Cunningham would be perfect. Um, opposite Khalil Mack. Uh, if they're if they're content to put Khalil Mack on the on the line, which I think that is a complete joke, but you know it is it is what it is. I believe that Khalil Mack should be a linebacker. I really do believe he should be a linebacker. But hey, uh, but Zach Cunningham would be perfect, you know. And plus, he can cover tight ends also. And we had a real problem covering tight ends again uh, last season. We seem to we seem to not have. Uh, Nobody that can cover tight ends. So Zach Cunningham can definitely cover tight ends. Another uh another person who I hope we get, uh Ger- Ger- what, Gerard Davis, middle linebacker, middle linebacker out of Florida, the Florida Gators. Uh now uh, that this this is our most pressing pick. I know I know for a fact that Reuben Foster is not going to be waiting for us at number 24. Period. We know this. I ain't even playing them games. Um but Jared Davis, he should be there. That is that is the guy that I want more than anybody. Um and that's who I'm aiming for. Um uh, We got Marshawn Lynch. Um and the crazy thing about it is you know I still want Joe Mixon, but I know we're not going to get him. That's just what it is, you know. We got two good running backs already. Now you add Marshawn Lynch, uh, you know. So that kind of that that that, that kind of messed that up. But I wanted Joe Mixon though. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, let me see. I think that's it. I, th- I, th- I think those are the guys that I'm looking for. Uh, I'm not looking for no no defensive back help. I think we got the people that we got. Um, I, th- I still I still believe that we need help. We need we need to shore up, shore up the uh, the line or the line the right tackle position. We you know we we got one of the best offensive lines in the NFL, but we still need help. At the right tackle position, I want. I would like. I would like for Cam Robinson to be there, but I doubt if that happens. He's too good of a lineman, and he's and, and you can just plug him in on the right side and just let that be that. We still need to draft Donald Penn's replacement. Um, you know, so I mean, we got we got so much. We we got we got holes to plug up, but you know. The first two picks need to be day one starters. Everything else is just for depth and, you know, and building things up. So, Jer- Jared Davis out of Florida, that's who I want. Middle linebacker for the Oakland Raiders, that's who I want. I hope that happens. I think we can do that. Um, we'll see what's good after, draft, after the draft over. I'll probably rate the hall and probably what we got. And that's just, and that'll be what it is. Uh, until then, it's your boy AC. I will holler. Peace.